proving that the entertainment industry has finally hit rock bottom. It's the Schlockmeister Show, coming to you live to take to internet to your spam filter. And starring that sexy single swinging host, who also has a penchant for writing his own intros, Schlockmeister. And now, here's Schlocky. Hi everybody, Schlockmeister here, sweating away to the oldies. The old movie bag of movies, that is. <laughs> Well, it didn't quite work, but you know what I'm talking about. I am here to give you some insights and inlooks and invitations to watch these classic movies. Also, there's spooky lighting going on because I'm in my parents' basement in Cleveland, Ohio. Okay, anyway, today's bag of movies is we're going to feature something special. <laughs> it's called... Oh, ho, ho. it was an oldie but a goodie. We kind of have a theme here, okay? First... American Werewolf in London. Ooh, forgot about that movie, didn't you? Had some really kind of cool special effects for the time where the guy's jaw elongates and the hair comes on. I think it was probably one of those famous makeup artists. And if I could read the uh, credits, I could tell you who it is. Anyway, I am DB it and you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. But you're going to want to watch American Werewolf in London because that was kind of a groundbreaker in the genre. Speaking of the genre, I have two other movies. One's called The Wolfman. Now, it's not the old Wolfman from days gone by with Lon Chaney. Or I'm just taking a guess and hoping he's the guy. No, this is uh, The Wolfman with Benicio Del Toro and Anthony Hopkins. Ha-ha! Well, needless to say, I didn't watch it, but this is the unrated edition, so it might be uh, worth seeing. And... You know, this is probably out in the 90s, and so it's going to give you a more modern take on the Wolfman story. And speaking of the Wolfman story, tangentially, see how I used big words? The Wolverine! Now, he's not really a Wolfman. He doesn't turn into a wolf at the sign of the full moon. He's Hugh Jackman with sideburns and a sharp nails. Okay, but what am I looking over there for? My new assistant is really tall, and he's uh, shooting from an angle. He's tr like a, a auteur, a filmmaking uh, wonderkind. What? Yeah, go back to focusing on me. All right, anyway. All right, here's the Wolverine, and I just wanted to tell you that uh, there's about five or six of them. Uh, some are in the X-Men, some are their own movies. You can't quite tell them apart. You just know that Hugh Jackman was born to play the role, and if they ever put anybody else in there, like Seth Green is... Wolverine Jr., I'm not going to watch it, okay? All right, on that note, we're going to close up the movie, bag of movies, TM. Trademark. And uh, we'll tell you that there's more coming up in season two in our next episode. So keep watching. Just binge watch all day, people.